What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's video, I'm going to be strategizing masterminding with a top producing realtor um, in the state of Texas, really crushing it and really trying to plan out her 2022 when it comes to Facebook ads, sales funnels, landing pages, and email automation. So if you guys are into capturing leads online, if you're trying to scale your business on social media, specifically through paid advertising, this is going to be a very detailed call. We'll be kind of going all over the place because with her she's really trying to find her place, right? She's really trying to find her, 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 her zone and, and find her lane. And, and whether that's, whether that's, whether, whether, whether you're, you're um, a, a realtor or, or an insurance agent or a local business owner or a restaurant, whatever, it really comes down to your, your, it's what I call an ethical bribe. It comes down to your offer. You have to be offering the marketplace. You have to be offering your audience something of value upfront for free. And so a lot of people put out free content, right? The video, the maybe maybe a, a nice graphic with some with some cool text. Yes, that is value, your content. But but what happens after that person sees that video? What are we trying to get them to do next? Are we trying to get them to click? Are we trying to get them to register for something? Are we trying to get them to download a free PDF? Are we trying to get them to watch a training video? What is the ethical bribe? What is your enticing offer that you can get in front of people? that you can get in front of your ideal audience and capture a lead or make a sell. So Heather, shout out to Heather. We're going to be kind of going all over the place, but but really staying, staying focused on, on, on these landing pages and sales funnels, because at, at the end of the day, you can get people to comment on your post. You can get people to direct message you for more information. But what I like is I like automation. I like leverage. I like to put out a piece of content and, and be able to direct that person where I want them to go. And in this case, online, social media, it doesn't get any more easier than getting somebody to click Go to your landing page, enter their name and email, and enter your world, whatever that may be, right? Capturing the lead, being able, to, being able to nurture the lead on the back end via email automation is what it's all about. So if you guys are into any of this stuff, man, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications, and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from, and let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on online. All right, guys, so let me get Heather on the line. Hold on one sec. Awesome. So what we'll do is we'll go to Kartra and then we'll, we'll open up another tab and then we'll go to um, Facebook. So let's go. Actually, you have the Facebook open over there. Let's go. I've got um, everything ready. Yes. Awesome. Let's go to Facebook really, really quick. And then let's go to the ads manager. So we'll go to, to the very, very left. You'll see, see more. And then if you, if you click that and go down, you should see ads manager. Okay, perfect. And then over here, did we bookmark any of these tabs in the ads manager? I don't think I took you through that training. I don't believe so. I okay, so let's, um, are you able to create folders at the top, your bookmarks? Um, you have folders? Yeah. Are you yeah. on Apple? Um, yes. Okay, where, where are your folders at, like your favorites? or? I just bookmark everything. Awesome. Um, Do you know how to create a folder? Can you create a folder? Um, I, I don't know. I know it's... Actually, okay, right there, the top bookmarks, because I have a PC, I've been on PC forever, but Apple, it's pretty simple. If I think if we go to bookmarks right there at the top, um, very, very top left, yeah, bookmarks, and then go to um, bookmark, bookmark manager, it might be bookmark manager. All we want to do is create a folder. So we're looking to, so you have, um, what about to the very, very right, those three dots in the blue, does that allow us to create a folder. Okay, so add, add new folder, perfect. Okay, so add new folder. Let's call this one business manager or Facebook business manager, whatever, FB business manager. Um, Cause there's a, there's a, as we go, as we kind of continue and, and go through a, a, you know, more, more, more coaching calls, I'm gonna, we're gonna start filling up this bookmark folder. That way it's super easy to navigate through the ads manager because as you go to the ads manager and go ahead and click on it, the, the tab 47 right at the top, to the left as you go through here it's, there's so much crap there's so much it's so overwhelming but at the end of the day there's only there's only seven things you'll ever click on here and and to to run ads to 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 um, track your ads to set up pixels and audiences there's only seven really main fun main main settings and so what i normally do is have you bookmark we'll do that on another call but since okay. we're here we might as well just at least let's let's start with this one this is this is a bookmark here and we're going to call this one um, ads manager. So hit the star. Let's bookmark this real quick and put it in that folder. 
And this one's going to be called, um, yeah, add bookmark. And, and um, this one's called ads manager. So you could take away the, yeah, ads manager and then drop that folder, that drop down. Let's put it in the perfect. Awesome. So this is one bookmark. So hit done. And then now hit the three lines to the left and let's go to business settings. This is going to be another bookmark and this is where we'll find our domain. So we'll come over here and then let's bookmark this tab or this page. And we're going to call this one business settings. So this is business settings. Yeah, business settings. Perfect. Okay, cool. So while we're here, let's click on to the very, very left, bottom left, you see brand safety. This is, this is the domain. So we're going to click on domains. And then all we want to do now is let's, let's add it to, let's add it to Kartra first, and then we'll come back over here. So let's go to Kartra and let's, um, yeah, we'll do the, we'll do the, the, the PDF here after, but let's just integrate this domain really quick. Okay. So click on your profile picture in the top right. And then uh, that drop down, and then go down to custom domains. I did have a question. Am I supposed to create a new? Um, it, it'll still integrate with my um, website, right? Like if um, if somebody goes to my website um, that I have right now, the DFW Homes by Heather. Like I want them right now. It's being directed to my actual website to look for homes. Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah. What you'll very good question. What you'll, what you'll want to do then is you'll want to get a different domain. You'll want to get a different one. Um, and you can, yeah, you'll want to get a different one because this one is already going to your, your full-blown website. So maybe if you get something super specific for seller guide or buyer guide or, or DFW homes um, seller guide or whatever, something like that. Yeah, okay. DFW seller guide, something like that catchy short that would be good to, to use. And in that domain, that right there is going to be, is going to be way, way more valuable than the other one to tell you the truth, because this is the do domain that's going to be capturing leads. This is the one that you're going to leverage Facebook and Kartra. Okay. You so, have to be okay. So if you want to get this one, let's see what it, it should be like 10 bucks or something like that. Yeah. Let's um, let's see, go to, go to one year. Yeah. Go to one year. I normally just start off with one year. Um, so that should bring it down. Eleven ninety nine. What you can do also is you can well just for the heck of it, let's um hit the trash can, get rid of it to the very very right, hit the trash, and let's just see if you actually if there, if we can find a coupon code. Hit the trash can, unless you don't mind paying eleven ninety nine. But hit the tra yeah trash it yeah get rid of it real quick. Hit the three dots at the top right, right where you see paused. Yeah, click on that. And then go to new incognito window, new incognito, yeah. And then so over here, go to Google. And then let's just, for the heck of it, let's just see if we can find a coupon code. And then type in cheap domains. And then what we're looking for is a GoDaddy, 99 cent. So there's name cheap, there's 299. Normally it's 99 cents, GoDaddy, that ad at the very top, the ad. So the 299 that you just passed. Normally that's 99 cents, but hey, 299, if we can get it for 299, that's better than... 1199. Mm -hmm. So type in so search it right here. Let's go ahead and, and search it in right there. And let's just type it in again and see, see if we can get it at a discount. Well, I should probably put home seller guide. Oh yeah, that'd be, that'd be good. DFW home seller guide.com. Let's see if that's even available. If that's available, Heather, you better get that one. Cause that's a good, that's a good domain. Wow. That's really cool. DFWHomeSellerGuide.com. I love it. I love it. Okay, so grab this. And, the, and, and when you go this route, yeah, change the two years. The only, the only thing that you have to do here, it's a little hack, and I've done this a million and one times, only because I'm a cheapskate like that. Like, <laughs> I'd rather get it for cheaper than pay full price. Like, I'm just like that. Mm -hmm. And when you do it this way, you have to use a different email and a different card, a different credit card that's that's tied to your other GoDaddy. So not that credit card and email. And then after we purchase it, we can merge it into one account and then you just have one account. Okay. But right now, if we check out, yeah, if you could if you have a different credit card or a debit card or whatever, and and maybe a different email, then we'll be able to get it for this discount. Okay. Um give me one second. I need to go get my um my credit card. Awesome. Take your time. Yeah. So you don't need any of these up upgrades, just just the domain is all we need. Okay. okay, cool. So we'll go through this. And then, yeah, this, this domain right here, Heather, this is your money domain. 
This is your money domain. Um, this is what we're going to build everything around as far as not just, not just quote unquote, integrating it with Kartra or integrating it with Facebook, really building your entire, your entire brand around this. Because as we connect this domain to Kartra and we start running ads to Kartra, Facebook is going to start allowing us, is Facebook's going to allow us to start creating custom audiences around this domain. So they'll know what, who's clicking on what, and we'll be able to put all these people in audiences and retarget them in the future with ads. So this is, this is for sure your money domain. Okay, cool. So from right here, click on, go ahead and click on the actual domain. So you look, that value is 515. I knew that was a good domain. So you buy it for three bucks. If you wanted to sell it right now, you can sell it for 500 bucks. So, okay. And then right here, manage DNS. Okay. So this is what we want. So manage DNS. So this is the, the settings, the records is what it's what it's called. Your, your records, a record, NS record, C and C name record. Mm -hmm. Um, and so th this is this is the section for Facebook to integrate it with Facebook and to integrate it with Kartra. So now let's go to let's go back to Kartra. So we're going to go ahead and um, yeah, we'll leave this here and then we'll just minimize it. Actually, yeah, just minimize it. Don't exit out. Just um, just minimize it. Let's go back to the other browser. And then right here, we'll hit custom domains. OK, perfect. Custom domains. And then right here, we're going to hit the green one, the plus sign, the plus domain. And then over here, just only the main domain and then type in your domain there. And then the favicon, that's the little logo that's in the tab. So you can always add that later. Um, it's not a big, big deal, but whenever you go to your page, you'll see the Kartra logo in the top left. I mean, in the top tab, but in the future, you can always change it to yours. So DFW, what was it? DFW Home Seller Guide? Yes, I was just making sure. <laughs> Homesellerguide.com. Okay, cool. And then hit next. Okay, so right here, we're going to just follow these basic instructions here, number two. Number two, point your senior record to Kartra. So that, that bold, heather heatherc.kartra.com, highlight that, heatherc.kartra.com. So this is what we have to integrate into GoDaddy. So we're going to copy that, and then we're going to go back to the GoDaddy uh, tab, and then we're going to, we're going to create this, this record. Yes, over here, perfect. And then we should see, so scroll down, we have a few C name records already. So there's a C name record. Um, we'll just add another one. So go ahead and hit that black button at the top, add. And then we'll add um, this right here. So the type, go ahead and hit that drop down to the left, type, and then go down to C name. And then the name, we're gonna put in um, www. And then the value, Actually, not there's no dot. Um, yeah, just the www. And then the value, go ahead and paste in that domain in the value section. No, to the right, the value. Yeah, so we'll paste it in there. And then we're going to, the TTL to the right, the default, put one hour and then add record. Okay, so the name, the name, it's not www, it's, it's at. So change the www to at. And then hit add record. Okay, so invalid. Okay, so go back to, go back to, yeah, see, this is a different, this is a different setting. Let me, let me check my settings real quick. Awesome. So yeah, because that one was already there. Okay, perfect. So, so now we're, we're good with, with the GoDaddy side. Let's go back to Kartra real quick. And then what we want to do over here is just simply um, hit the yes. We'll click on yes, and then we'll hit next. And then, and then now, and then do we, actually we do have pages? Okay, so the in, the index and the 404 error. So hit the drop down for external URL, and we're going to do the same for both of them. We're going to go Kartra pages, select site, no site, and then the Kartra page, the opt in page. Yeah, the seller guide opt in, perfect. And then the 404, the same thing. And do you know what this is, index and 404? Well, a Kartra page, uh, I do not. <laughs> okay, so it like every year, once a year, in fact, today is your billing date. So once a year, every January 4th for you in your case with this specific domain and GoDaddy, you're billed, right? So every year, I think it's like 10 bucks. I think your, your annual bill for your domain. If that, if that domain is not renewed and it's still connected to Kartra, if someone were to go to it, it it'd be expired because it was never renewed right through GoDaddy. But okay. because it's connected with Kartra, Kartra will end up just forwarding, forwarding them to that page anyways. 
because that's the error page um, and that's the index page. So okay. if you don't renew it, you're going to for sure want to renew it. But if for any random reason, I think they give you like a few weeks after it expires, that Kartra will continue to forward that domain to whatever page we choose here. Okay. So just make sure you renew it every year. Yeah. So hit next and then, um, and then we're good. So we'll hit close. And then now this will take a few minutes and then, and then the processing will turn to connected. So we're good here. Now let's integrate it with Facebook. So let's go back to Facebook, the business settings. And then all we're going to do over here is we're going to add, click the blue button. And then we're going to simply type it in there. No www, just the domain. So just the DFW. Okay, perfect. And then as we click on the Let blue button, that that's the one. DFW Home Seller that's Guide. Okay. And then hit add. Yes. Dot com, dot com. Oh, dot com. Okay, cool. Okay, perfect. So now over here, we have some instructions. So what we want to do is at the top, that drop down, we want to change that drop down and go down to the, the third one down. So the DNS TXT. Yeah, perfect. So number two, we're following um, number two, that bold Facebook dash domain dash verification. Yeah. Highlight that entire. And in fact, you just got to click it. Yeah. You can just hover over it and click it. Yeah. If you just, yeah, perfect. So it just copies to the clipboard. Mm -hmm. Actually just click it. Just actually click it. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now let's go to GoDaddy and we're going to simply create a TXT record. Okay, cool. So now we're going to simply, where did the, um, so let's, let's refresh this page. So go ahead and go ahead and refresh this page and then that add button. Yeah, there you go. So it's black. Okay, cool. So click on that black add button and we're going to, the type is going to be TXT. And then the name is going to be the at sign. It's going to be the at, not the www. So it's going to be the at. And then the value is going to be that long Facebook link. So paste that in. Okay, cool. And then um, go to, yeah, one hour is fine. And then add record. Okay, perfect. See it. Okay, cool. Success. Okay, good. So now over here, so now we're, we're actually good here. So just remember your login, remember your password for this account, for this GoDaddy account, because okay. we're, we're done with this site. So we're, we're good there. I mean, X out. Actually, you know what? You know, I'm so sorry. Don't, don't X out yet. We need to forward. We, we need to, okay. we need to forward it real quick. Yeah. We'll, we'll come back to the GoDaddy one. So minimize the GoDaddy one. We'll be back here in a second. So go to maximize this one. Yeah. And then, so this normally takes a few minutes. Sometimes it, it integrates right away. So let's just, let's just check, hit the green one, verify. Oh, nice. See, so sometimes it goes right away and then sometimes it takes a few minutes. Okay. So we're good there. Now, now, now Facebook can start. Facebook tracks with the actual pixel. So now that we have these Karcher pages, we can put our pixel on the page and start tracking. Facebook will start tracking it that way. But with the domain, they track it even more. And with the domain, now we can start creating custom audiences and, and, and audiences are what it's all about. So, so we're good here. So now Click on add assets. Let's see if there's anything to add on add assets. Sometimes you have to add your ad account or your name. Click on, um, yeah, we're good there. So hit, hit cancel and we're good there. Okay, cool. So that's that. That's that's integrating your domain to Karcher and integrating your domain to, to Facebook. So um, let's upload your, let's upload your file real quick to Kartra, your file. Let's go to Kartra and let's simply upload your, your PDF. So hit my memberships to the left, my memberships. Yeah, right there to the left. And then at the very top, you're gonna to see files. So click on files and this is where you upload your PDF. Actually, it's already there. Actually, is that it or not? I don't know if this is the right one. I think I need to add, I don't know if this is the right one because I just had to download another one today. Okay, cool. So X that one out to the very right, hit the X and then let's just upload the new one. Okay. Okay, cool. So we'll hit the green upload. And then we'll just find that file. Awesome. Okay, cool. And then, and then next. Okay, cool. So that's that. So now, now that link, we're going to have a link for it. And then that link is what we put in the first email. So as a person comes to your landing page, they enter their name and email. 
the, the email autoresponder, the sequence will shoot out this email right away. So yeah, go ahead and click on that, get URL. So copy that super long link and just test it as well. Go ahead and open up a new tab and just open it up. So as, as that lead gets that first email, they'll be able to click and boom, that opens up. Awesome. I love it, Heather. That's really cool. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. See that right there, that's your bait. And that's why like, even, even though like, I'm, I mean, I'm all ads and, and everything I truly believe needs to be ads. Even when you go out there and create organic traffic, like organic post, like as you just go out there and live your life and build your business on social media and you're posting on LinkedIn or Instagram or whatever, mm -hmm. what I truly believe is that every single piece of content needs to have a call to action. Even yeah. if it's not an ad, like even if it's not an ad, so as you just post something on Facebook and, and, and you're, you're, you're posting the type of content that's educating someone on buying or selling, or in this case, it's selling, then, then always, even if it's an organic post, even if it's going on your personal page, have a call to action. Hey guys, and by the way, I put together a 2022 seller guide and I'd love to give it to you for free. Click here to download your free copy. And that could so be an organic post. For that. What's that? That's, so all I have to say, I need to make a thank you video and then a... Um, uh, um, download button. Uh, well, a thank you video, a thank you video. Yes. A thank you video. Yes. But for opting in. For opting in yeah. Cause that's so, so for example, click on my pages to the left. So as, as again, whether I'm running an ad or I'm just posting something today on Facebook, I would, I would try to drive as much traffic to this landing page, the opt-in page as possible. Like okay. when you're posting organic, that's the reason why I hate organic is because if I'm a local business owner, the majority of people that are following me don't even live in my area. Okay. That's what I truly believe. So as you take your friend, your friend list on Facebook up to 5,000 friends, majority of them don't even live in the state. Yeah. I'm like almost that, there. Yeah. I'm right, almost at 5,000. Right. So, yeah. And, and they're not even in the area. So that's not even our ideal audience. That's right. why I don't like organic when it comes to building our local business. I always say, if you're building a nationwide business, okay, cool. Go on social media and post all over the damn place. But if I'm trying to farm my backyard, that's why ads make the most sense. But I'm just saying, if you're going to post anything, yeah, why not direct it to your, to your opt-in? And, and, and you don't need a video for that. That's just the post on Facebook or the post on LinkedIn that you organically put out or Instagram, whatever. But as they go, as they, and that could be an image. Hey guys, here's a copy of my, my free PDF. I just put together, click here to download a free copy. When they click, when they click, now I'm not talking about the ad, I'm talking about just an organic post. It'll yeah. be the link. It'll be the link that they're actually click on. So we'll share the actual link. Um, and once the, the domain is integrated here with Kartra, we'll give it a few more minutes and then we'll check. But once that link is there, then we'll have a nice custom link to start sharing with people. And that's a link I could just take to, to social media and post wherever the hell I want. Mm -hmm. As they click on that link, random organic post, then they come to the opt-in. When they hit that yellow button, go ahead and hover over the opt-in page and just click the eyeball real quick. Yeah. So as they see your post and they click, they come over here and we'll do some editing. We can change out the image, change out the yellow button to red, whatever. We can change all that stuff. In fact, we have to change okay. it because at the bottom, it still has my, my copyrights, Inspired Digital. So we'll have to update this page real quick. But my point is, is that when they click the yellow button and they enter their name and email, they then land on the thank you page. So click on the okay. thank you page. That's where there should be a video on Heather. Hey guys, this is Heather. Hey, thank you so much for downloading my 2022 seller guide. In this seller guide, you're going to learn this, 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 and this. My name is Heather. I'm with X Company. Let me tell you a little bit about, about myself and why I'm so fired up to help people sell in the greater area of Dallas, Texas. Mm -hmm. So write this down because this is, yeah, this is going to be your homework for, for, for our next call. Okay. The thank you video. Write this down real quick. Four bullet points. Four bullet points to hit on this on this, on this 60 second video that you're going to shoot from your cell phone from home. Like this is a basic video, super simple. Number one, I'm thanking them. That's, that's a bullet point. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for downloading my 2022 seller guide, right? That's bullet point. Number one, I'm thanking them. Number two, I'm introducing myself. Little intro, my background, my experience, my company, my broker, why I'm so fired up, how long I've been in the area, where I'm from, why I'm excited. Might maybe a little bit about my family, I'll do like a quick intro and, and really 
you know, get personal, let them know exactly who I am and why I'm so excited to help them. Right. Okay. Number two, I'm introducing myself. Number three, I'm telling them to check your email. Hey guys. And by the way, check your email. I just sent over your 2022 seller guide. The title of the email is this. Sometimes it lands in spam. So make sure you search my name or search the title. You'll find it there in the next few seconds. And also be on the lookout over the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be emailing you some amazing content. I'm going to continue to educate you on what it takes to sell in today's market. So don't miss any of my emails. Okay. So bullet point number three, I'm telling them to check the email right now because I just sent you the seller guide, but then, but then I'm also planting the seed and telling them, hey, be on the lookout for my future emails because I have a ton of great content coming your way. Okay. So I'm already trying to psych psychologically program them to look for my emails and okay. open my emails. I'm telling them open every email, right? That's number three. Mm -hmm. Number four, I'm going for the call. Number four, I'm saying, hey guys, and by the way, if you're in the market, if you have questions, if you're looking to sell, or if you just need to speak to a professional realtor, I'd love to talk to you. So if you click the button below, it'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. That's it. So number one, thank you. Number two, introducing myself. Number three, check your email. Number four, click the freaking button. Let's talk. So this thank you page, it's what I call a money page because this is our first opportunity that we have for that appointment. Okay. Right. So when it comes to, when it comes to the stats, when it comes to just basic numbers for every 10 people that land here, for every 10 leads that opt in for every 10 that land here, you're going to have, you're going to have anywhere from one to two that actually schedule a call now. Okay. And when you're dealing with big numbers and you're running ads, for example, you're dealing with big numbers. That's a good, that's a good percentage. I'll take, I'll take 10% any, I'll take 1% any day. We can get rich off of 1%, one okay. out of every 10. And we have freaking hundred people coming in every damn day. Like that's a good number, but that's just worst case, worst case. Let's just say worst case, one out of 10, the other nine that do not schedule a call there, they go into your email autoresponder. That's why the emails are so important. So as, as those leads start to get nurtured, as, as the nine that do not schedule a call there start to receive emails, those emails are all based on the seller guide. So, so for example, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say I'm one of the nine that did not schedule a call. And now I should start receiving emails from Heather. Right. So, right. so right now, 10 opted in. Everyone got the first email. That first email triggers the moment they opt in. That's the first email that has the seller guide, right? That's the first email that goes out to everyone, no matter if they schedule the call or not. That's the first initial email. But Kartra is going to know it. They're going to know who scheduled a call and who did it. And that's based on a tag, which we'll set up. Okay. So, so Kartra is going to know that the other nine did not schedule the call. And those other nine are now going to receive email number two. Gotcha. So for example, I am one of the nine. I did not schedule the call. I'm going to receive an email tomorrow, right? Right away, I received my PDF and I'm thankful for that. Great. I got the email. Heather told me in the video, I'm going to be getting an email. I checked my inbox. Boom, it's there. But I did not schedule a call. So tomorrow, I'm going to get another email from Heather. Hey, Dave. And this is the basic example. Everything is about the seller guide. So, so in your case, you have a 16-page seller guide, mm -hmm. right? You have a 16-page seller guide. Now, what we want to do is we want to take little bullet points from each page, little cliff notes from each page, and those are my emails. So if you have 16 pages, there's a shitload of cliff notes in there that we can really put down in some emails. And this is, this is basic. We're not, we're not talking long story, long form emails. I'm talking just a few sentences. So for example, email number two goes out. Hey, Dave. And that's the following day. Hey, Dave, this is Heather. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know yesterday you downloaded my 2022 seller guide. I'm so thankful and I'm so excited to be in, in touch with you. Hey, have you got a chance to get to page two? On page two, I'm talking about this, 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 and this. So I'm giving them the cliff note of what was on page two, for example. Okay. Or maybe a cliff note of what was on paragraph one of page two. Maybe there's four paragraphs. Maybe there's three paragraphs on page two. I'm giving them a cliff note of paragraph one. Okay. Okay. Because what I want to do is I want to break down each page and create a series of emails. So again, hey, Dave, this Heather, have you got to page two? 
On page two, I'm talking about the importance of renovating your kitchen and how much value that can bring to the overall price as you go to list it. Here's what I meant by it. And so now all I would do is I'd look at my seller guide, I'd look at the paragraph, I'd break it down into a couple sentences and I'd put that in the email. Hey, Dave, and by the way, if you'd like to chat, I'd love to talk to you. So if you click the link below, it'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Okay. Right, and that's email number two. Two days later, email number three. Two days after that, email number four. So, so the back end, the email automation, this is what we call the back end. The front end is the ad. The front end is the social media post. That's the front end. But once they click and enter my world, now it's this back end that's going to nurture that lead and get them to schedule a call with me. Okay. So, so this is the part that's a little time consuming, but it's a one-time thing. Once we put these emails in place and once we write out a few emails, we never have to touch it again. Okay. Now we just got to fill the funnel. And, and if we can fill the funnel and, and continue to have a shitload of people receiving our emails and they happen to all live down the street, that's what we want, you know? Okay. So, so, um, so yes. Yeah, so we, so the- well, we can, I guess we'll do that after I get my video and, and then get stuff started setting up and everything. Yes. yes. Um, and I did, I did have another question. And I mm-hmm. wanted to ask you, have you heard anything from Facebook about my page likes? Yes, that, that ad will go live tonight. Yes, I do know how to run that ad in 2022 now. Facebook it, completely it, changed um, it. And it, do I need to do anything or is it already done? Or It just, the only thing that, the only thing that, no, no you don't got to do anything. But the only thing that changed is it got a little bit more expensive. But we're mm-hmm. still going to run that same budget and we'll still, we'll still get, we'll still get a comma in that number. But that's the only thing that changed is the targeting and the cost. Mm. So, but I spoke to, I, I spoke to my Facebook rep and I, and I, and he, and he showed me how to run it the right way now. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, you'll start to see that, that increase here this week for sure, for sure, for sure. Cool. Cool. Yeah. And so that's going to look really good. Is that, is that like ad? So only homework assignment here is to, is to knock out that thank you video. And then um, let's check to see if the domain is integrated. Mm -hmm. Click on, um, Click on your profile picture in the top right, and let's go back down to custom domains, custom domains, and then let's check it over here. Awesome. Connected. Now, let's go to my pages, and all we're going to do is customize these pages, customize the links, and then and then we'll be done, and then let's chat again either tomorrow or the next day. Okay. But, but this part's super basic. This part's super, super powerful. So now... On, let's do, let, we're going to do the opt-in. We're going to do the thank you. And we're going to do the call confirmed. Okay. And then we'll do the email sequence one on our next call. But here, three dots, get coder link, get coder link. Yeah, get coder link. Click on that one. Actually, no, not copy. Just click on it. Get coder link. Yeah, that one. Okay, right here, get the page link. Uh-huh. And then all you're going to do is hit the pencil. So there's the default link that Kartra gives you. Now we're going to change it out. Hit the drop down and you'll see your domain. So this is it right here. So now DFW home, home seller guide.com forward slash. Now it, this is our chance to customize that. Let's take that three H S. So DFW home seller guide.com forward slash whatever forward slash download now forward slash. Um, Cause it's already DFW home seller guide.com forward slash download now. Yeah, you can you could for sure. And then and then that's not go ahead and hit, hit the check mark. The so that's the link. That's the link. Go ahead and copy it and open it up in a new, in a new tab. That's the link that that people are going to see when they're on the page, okay? But that's not the link that you're necessarily going to promote or brand. What you're going to promote and brand because we're going to update the GoDaddy setting right now. Mm-hmm. What you're going to promote and brand is dfwhomesellerguide.com. Okay. You're not going to have to verbally say or even type in download now. That's already there by default. So now let's go to, um, let's go to, let's go to, yeah, over here in, 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 um, in the, yeah, right here. So open up this wider so we can see the full page of this GoDaddy one. Yeah. If you can maximize it. Yeah. Cool. So now refresh this page real quick. Refresh this one. What we want to do now is we just changed out the link for the opt-in and, and we, we added download now. 
So what we want to do is we want to scroll down all the way down to the, to the bottom of this page, and we want to go to the forwarding, a little, little further, name servers, keep going down. So right here, forwarding, add forwarding. So click on that top one. Yeah, add forwarding. And then right here, you're going to paste in that link. So destination URL, paste that in. And then what you want to do is, is you want to take away the HTTPS, the forward slash, only leave the www. Yeah, take away that. And then to the very left, hit the drop down and change that HTTP to S. Awesome. And then save. So now we're telling GoDaddy, hey, when anybody goes to dfwhomesellerguide.com, forward them to this site, okay. which is the forward slash download now. Make sense? Yeah. So to test it, go ahead and open up a new tab and just go to type it in. Go to dfwhomesellerguide.com. Bam. Okay. There it is there. So that's how you do the damn thing. So that's the domain for Kartra. That's the domain for Facebook. That's how you upload your, your file. Now back to Kartra real quick. Um, your file. So close out of this one. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's, let's change out these other links real quick. The call confirmed and the thank you. So hit the three dots and then just um, get coder link, get coder link, and then get the page link. And then change out this. So this is this is the call confirm. Hit the pencil to the right. Actually, no, no, hit the pencil. So we're changing out the link. Mm. Hit that drop down, and then go to your domain. And this is the call confirmed. So that could be the forward slash call confirmed. And again, these links are so important because now we're going to be able to take these exact links and create audiences. So we're going to have an audience of those who land on this link. Those are our scheduled appointments. And, and the reason why that's so important in Facebook is because as we start to run Facebook ads, you want to be able to segment these, 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 these audiences. So mm -hmm. for those that already downloaded the, the, the PDF, they would have landed on the thank you page, right? Okay. That audience, I want to make sure that I exclude from future ads. People who land on this link, call confirmed. I want to make sure I exclude from future ads. Okay. Right. Because they've already, they're already in my world. They already right. opted in. They don't need to keep seeing my ads, okay. especially if I'm running ads on the same thing, which is a seller guide. I'm promoting seller guide, seller guide, seller guide. Okay. Right. So now this can allow us to Mac to really maximize and really manage our Facebook ad cost by, by excluding the most relevant audiences that don't need to see our ads. Okay. Right. So, so close this out and do, do one more page, do the, do the thank you page. And then this is, um, this is, pretty self-explanatory we'll just put thank you so hit the pencil to the right and then um this could be this could be thank you for downloading or thank you it could be simple thank you or it could be thank you for downloading whatever yeah perfect okay cool and that's and that's that so so now now my memberships to the left close that out my memberships to the left go to um files at the top and then um there's the link for your so to the very right, that little chain thing, there's that little link, hit that. And then um, copy this right here. This is what would go in the email. So if you X out this part right here and then go to my communications to the left. So um, now over here, let's see if you have a list. Do you have a list? You should have a list there by default. Hit list. And you can always edit the name of the list as well. So right here, HC seller guide leads. Yeah, you can, you can always change that name to just seller guide leads, um, but that's the list. And then, and then communications at the top, hover over communications and go to sequences. This is your drip. This is your email autoresponder. So let's hit the pencil real quick. And let me just show you how to do this part real quick. So we'll hit the green edit. Okay, cool. So again, when that lead ops in this email is going to go out right away and and it starts with the starting rule so hover over that starting rule real quick that starting rule let's see if that's okay the green edit we want to make sure that so what we're telling the system is that anyone who subscribes to that list make sure they're on this sequence that's what we're telling the system right here so it could be based on an opt-in form based on a tag based on a list whatever but list is there so that's perfect so hit save so we're good there. So this time immediately 
The second one goes out two days later. The third one goes out two days later. That We can always change that. It can go one day later. It can go three days later. It can go whatever. Mm-hmm. So we're going to change the title. We're going to change all these names. We're going to, this is where, this is where we'll, what we have to spend a little bit of time on is just the back end. Put in a few emails in here um, to, to really, to really, to really maximize it. So we'll, we'll focus on this email part on our next call. But, okay. but this is where, like on the first one, the one that goes out immediately, your seller guide. And again, you can rename that, but hit the three dots on the first one and then go to edit. So this is the first email that goes out immediately. This would have a link to that download. So hit, so scroll down. We're going to go to email content. And then I noticed the gateway, your email right there. We're going to change that as well. So, but let's do the email content first and then we'll, we'll update the email here in a second. So right here, so this is the part that we want to for sure edit and, and rewrite and, and make it more, more personal. But to the very, very left, if you click on if you click on design templates, see at the top, you're in the advanced mode, which is where you want to be advanced and then you have basic. Uh-huh. Basic mode is just text. Watch, go to basic, shift it to basic. That's just text. So if I just want to write text, then that's basic mode. Advanced is when I can make the, the email look a little bit more prettier and, 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 and put a template, put some, watch, if you scroll down the email, there's some social media icons at the bottom. There's a button. Um, there's an image. You can obviously change the image, but, but there's all that. That, that happens in, in the, in the, um, in the um, scroll back at the top. That happens in the freaking, what's it called? Advanced mode. So in advanced mode, now I can create these templates. So if I click on design templates to the left, design templates. There's all these cartridge. If you click on full templates, there's all these full, all these cartridge templates that are already created, already done. And all I got to do is click, drag it over and I can work off of that template. I can delete whatever I want. I can change the orange button to red. I can change that blue to purple, whatever. Like I can work Mm -hmm. off of that template Um, or you can create your own. But when it comes to these, these templates, when it comes to email, you don't need it to make, you don't need it to look super crazy professional. In fact, when it looks basic, it's actually more appealing. Like it mm-hmm. makes it feel like it's coming from a friend, not some freaking brand. You know what I mean? Right, right. So, exactly. so these are super pretty templates and, and I just use them for maybe the, maybe the footer, which is the social media icons. Maybe I'll use one that has an image and I can put some, you know, image like this one. I have an image of me, of me. So the basics is what I'll use off of the template. And then I'll just delete, you know, delete anything else off that mm-hmm. template and customize it. But the template is something that I'll create one time. So I'll create the template once. And then at the very, very bottom of the email, scroll to the very, very bottom, I'll save it as a template. So right there, bottom right, I can save as template. Mm -hmm. That's why as you receive my emails, they all look the same. It's all the same template. That email Mm -hmm. or that image at the bottom, my social icons at the bottom, the footer, it's always the same template. So I just create it once and just use it over and over and over and over. So as I save it as template, then it'll be to the left, just like these ones. Mm-hmm. And then when I go to email number two, I can, I can click you and I'll it. just drag it over. Okay. And then obviously I, re- I rewrite it, re-edit the words, but, right. and I'll maybe change out the image, maybe on the second email, click here to watch my newest video. Right. So, and I just do these basic images on Canva. Yeah. Um, and so this is something that you, you want to really, you know, create your own little branding but, but keep it simple. And then again, okay. save as template. So you can just use the same one over and over. Okay. So we'll, we'll definitely, we'll definitely go into a full-blown training on these emails, but, mm-hmm. but that's, that's the drip. So now, for example, scroll back up on the email, actually, you know what download here? So we can, we can go off of a button. We can go off of a, off of, off of hyperlinking a word. We can go off of an image, but here, there's the button. So click here to download your seller guide. Hover, don't, don't click, don't click, don't click. Just mm-hmm. hit the, the, pink, the pink pencil. And then this right here, that's where your link would go. So paste in your URL. And then you can always change the color of the button. You can change the verbiage on the button um, at the very, very top copy. That right, that, that packet. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, perfect. And then you can test it as well. So we're going to scroll down. Okay. And let's, let's scroll down and let's click on send test email and then just, yeah, check that email and, and, and click the button and see if the damn thing works. So there's the test email. So it came through, we'll click on that blue button and then that will take that person straight to that PDF and they can download it here. That's it. 
Hmm. Okay. So again, systems, Heather, systems, automation, leveraging these posts that we start to put out, get people to click and enter your world. Now, on our next few calls, or maybe let's call it maybe the next one and two calls, we need to focus on, on this email sequence and, and focus on editing these pages. Okay, like customizing? Yeah, like changing out the image, maybe changing out the color of the button, basic editing, changing out the footer, changing out the, um, the links at the bottom. So, so oh, here when I click, set up an appointment, I just go to set up an hour appointment for Kartra. Yeah. Yeah. Or whenever. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Whenever, whenever you got another minute, let's, let's schedule that. But here okay. at the very, very top, click the green button. We'll hit edit. And then, and then, so that saves that email. Okay. And then what we want to do real quick also is just, is just update your email, which I don't think we have. Um, so close this out real quick at the top close and then done and exit. So that's how you get out of the email. Did you want to do something with the gateway? Or? We, we are, we are, but we're going to do it on, on another page. So close okay. out this. So that's how you just come out of the email. The email was mm -hmm. saved and now you came out of it. Now you're here back on the dashboard. What you, what you always want to do is hit the green one, done and exit. So always hit that green one to exit out of it. Perfect. That saves everything. So now to the left, my integrations. Let's uh, make sure your email is, is updated over here. So, okay, yeah. Let's hit the, on Karcher mail. Let's click those three dots. And let's edit. And this email over here, this has to be, it cannot be a Gmail or a Yahoo or anything like that. Do you mm -hmm. have like a company email? I do not. Okay, that's what we're gonna need. I only we're have gonna... Gmail. Yeah, you have a Gmail, but you don't I have, have like have a... a Yahoo, but yeah, no, not Yahoo. This has to be an actual, you don't have a a, a, a real estate. Like, are you still with KW? Who are you with now? Uh, no, but I, I do have um let me see if I can pull it up um, okay. really quick. So we'll get back to this part, but this is something that's super, super important. We're going to change out that email eventually. So cancel that. We'll get back to that. Um, now we're good. So we have we have the, the emails that we need to work on. Now your only homework is, is, to, is, to, is to knock out that thank you video. Yes. Knock out that thank you video. And then um, on our next call, we'll work on editing these pages. And we'll okay. work on the email sequence and then, and then, and then we'll get to Facebook after that. Okay. Cool. So, so I'll be available all week, schedule okay. your best time. And then we'll go from there. Perfect. Thank you so all much. Right, Heather, you're so, so welcome. Chat soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.